Today, they are well-defined states with their own trajectories. But it was in the 60s and 70s that much of what we know as the Seven Sisters of the Northeast and the state of Sikkim came into being. They were chiseled out of a vast patchwork of ancient tribal areas and kingdoms. The northeast of India has a storied history that goes back millennia. But the emergence of this region as we know it today is a product of the 19th and 20th centuries. Traditionally, having close trading and tribal links with Burma, Bhutan and Tibet, much of the northeast came under British rule after the Anglo-Burmese War. By the time of independence in 1947, the northeast was divided into Assam and the kingdoms of Manipur and Tripura. The decade of the 60s saw the map of the northeast change. In 1947, the Naga National Council had demanded a state for their groups outside the state of Assam, of which they were a part. The 1950s saw a series of violent incidents with the Indian state pitted against Naga nationalists. Nagaland was declared a Union Territory and then in 1960, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru and the leaders of the Naga People's Convention put out a 16-point agreement which led to a roadmap for the creation of the state of Nagaland. The state was formally established on the 1st of December 1963 with Kohima as its capital. But the major restructuring of the Northeast came in 1971 with the Northeastern Areas Reorganization Act. This saw the transformation of the old princely states of Manipur and Tripura, which had been Union territories, into states, and the hiving off of Meghalaya as a state. Earlier, it was part of Assam. The Act also saw the creation of the Union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal was earlier called the North East Frontier Agency or NIFA and administered by the Assam governor who functioned as an agent of the President of India. After the Chinese aggression in 1962 and China's claim to the Northeast Frontier Agency, the territory was converted into the Union Territory of Arunachal Pradesh in 1972. Arunachal Pradesh, which means Land of the Rising Sun, acquired full statehood on the 2nd of February 1987. A separate state of Meghalaya was created in 1972 by carving out two tribal districts from Assam, the United Khasi and Jentia Hills and the Garo Hills. It was named Meghalaya, which means a board of clouds. Shillong became the capital of Meghalaya, while Assam got a new capital in Dispur, an area on the outskirts of Gohati. The integration of Sikkim into India in 1975 was complex but ultimately speedy and without much bloodshed. A protectorate of the British since the Anglo-Chinese Agreement in 1890, the Chogyal or the King of Sikkim was a member of the Indian Chamber of Princes since 1922. After independence, the Nehru government sought the integration of Sikkim with India, which led to the signing of a treaty in 1950 between the government and Sikkim's ruler, Satashi Namgyal. The treaty made Sikkim a protectorate of India. In the autonomous Mizo district of Assam, a separatist movement started in 1961 after Assamese was declared the official language of the state. The Mizo National Front, under the leadership of Lal Denga, declared independence from India in 1966. In 1973, the Mizo district was separated from Assam and given Union Territory status. In 1986, the Mizo National Front and the Government of India signed a peace accord under which Mizoram became an independent state in 1987. Also in 1973, the Indian government headed by Indira Gandhi, the last Chogyal of Sikkim and other political parties entered into an agreement for greater legislative and executive powers for the elected representatives and a democratic constitution in the state. 
On the 28th of June 1974, the Government of Sikkim Act was passed by the Assembly despite the Chogyal's objections. Parliament adopted the 36th Amendment to the Constitution approving the merger of Sikkim with India. And on 26 April 1975, Sikkim became the 22nd state of India. As part of a deliberate policy, the British had kept the Northeast tribes completely isolated from mainland India. Lamenting British policy, Jawaharlal Nehru had said after independence that the tribes of the Northeast felt alienated because they never experienced the sensation of being in a country called India and they were hardly influenced by the freedom struggle. The alienation of tribes encouraged separatist movements in the region with rebels finding sanctuaries across the border in China and Myanmar. These issues still crop up as the region remains plagued by fierce tribal conflicts and secessionist movements. Over 100 different tribes live in the Northeast states. They speak different languages and follow their own cultures, customs and a lifestyle that's breathtakingly diverse.